Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I thought we would get Trillium suit made. So I should have plenty of barbed leather. Each type of leather has different properties, like spined leather will give you plus 40 luck on each piece. Horned leather is the one that I usually use because it's pretty easy to get. It gives you plus 15 on your resist. Barbed leather gives you plus 16, so it's just slightly better than horned. If horned is easier to get, just get horned. And now for my crafter to imbue this leather, she needs some gems. She'll be needing diamonds and tourmaline and sapphires and magical residue and enchanted essence and relic fragments. So the way that we're going to get enchanted essence is I've been putting all my trash loot in this chest and she can go unravel it and get enchanted essence. On this server there is a stone where you can spend enchanted essences to buy relic fragments and magical residue. So I'm going to switch over to Ezereth, my gargoyle crafter, and we'll just kind of see what this process looks like. Alright, here's my beautiful gargoyle Miss Ezereth. Thanks to Void Craftworks and his free dye house, I got this beautiful skin color and this glorious white armor. So I'm going to pick up all this stuff to unravel. I have a special bag for it. And it's important to put it in its own bag because we're going to unravel the whole bag. So I also have a script. So I've got a hotkey to control C. I'm just going to control C everything in this container and put it in this container. I mean, is that not super handy? I love it. So I'm going to get an empty bag here. Some green. I'm going to pick up my leather and put it in this bag. Put my sewing kit in the bag. And that way everything I made is make is in this bag. That is a green bag. It's pretty cool for a green set of armor, though. So now I'm just going to make some... Let's girl it up. Let's just do female uh, studded leather. Studded leather has an innate... Um, lower mana cost. You could also do metal armor and that has an innate stamina loss reduction. But anyway, for Trill, she wants studded leather. So let's do a studded bustier, barbed hide, studded bustier. I made an exceptional one first try. So now let's do some studded leggings, studded armor, studded leggings, felled, make it again, exceptional. Let's do a studded gorget, got it, gloves, I created it, but it's not exceptional. Let's keep trying. Okay, got it. So that one I made that's not exceptional, I'm putting in my salvage bag. And I can get the leather back from it. Uh, studded sleeves. Try again. Try again. Got it, but not exceptional. Nope. Got it. So let's put the regular ones in the salvage bag. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm missing one piece. What am I missing? The helmet. There should be six pieces, so the helmet. There's no studded helmet, so just go to leather armor and do a leather cap. Or, you know what? I could also do a bandana or a, a regular hat, and I think I might, I'll have to sacrifice some resist, but I would look cooler. So I'm going to... Do I have any cloth? Not enough. Do I? I don't have any cloth. Do I have to go do sheep? Okay, I'm going to put up the leather. So now I have some weight to move around. I'm just going to go to the tailor shop in New Haven. Because I think I want to make a bandana for her. Just to be... I mean, we got to be stylish. I made an exceptional quality bandana. We'll see how this comes out. I might do them both. Because we do want our resist to be max. And I don't know how many other things I can put on the bandana. But... So I'm willing to make some sacrifices. I mean, I paid good sovereigns for that hair dye. We want our hair dye showing. <laughs> All right, back to the craft house. Okay, I don't know why I came back here, because I think now we're ready to go and boo all this stuff. I guess I'll put the cloth up. That's why I came back. So, on each item, I'm going to increase the lowest stat. So it looks like it's cold resist and physical resist on a lot of these. Cold resist, I'm going to want a sapphire and magical residue. So I've done the math, and I think just to be safe, I'm going to need about 100 diamonds, 100 tourmaline, and maybe 60 sapphire, 24 relic fragments, 24 magical residue, and 60 enchanted essence total. We need more enchanted essence. 
we need more of everything. So now we're going to go to a magical place called the Brick Craft Center. I'm going to sit at the Soul Forge here, double click and booing. By the way, you get this skill by going to Skills, Crafter, here's in booing. So click and hold, drag, and when you let go, there it is. So double click that, unravel container. Yes. So, I got six relic fragments from that, which is not enough. I got 19 magical residue, which might be. And I got seven, 72 enchanted essence. So I just need four more and 24 magical residue, so I might have enough. So I can exchange five enchanted essence for one by, by, three, four. Now we have 28 relic fragments. We only need 24 according to my math, which is probably bad. Got my bag of armor here. I'm gonna try it with the bandana first. So I have six items to imbue. We'll leave this out for now. So I'm gonna double click imbuing. And now on each one of these, I'm gonna improve the lowest resist. So on this one, it's physical. Physical resist. And I'm going to do as high as I can without needing this special ingredient. Because I'm not going to imbue these with special ingredients yet. Just for one thing, it's, you know, this is the next progression upwards. Is to get a suit made with the best you can make without all the rare ingredients. And then the rare ingredients are kind of, you know, in-game stuff to be looking for. To finally, ultimately have your suit made the best it can be. So, you got to have goals and end game stuff to work towards so I'm not gonna try to do all that yet so for each one of these pieces for physical resist I would need eight diamonds and four magical residue so that would be 48 diamonds and 24 magical residue for 15 percent so let's just imbue got it and now I'm gonna imbue on this one, it looks like it's physical resist as well. It's a choice of physical resist or poison. So I'm gonna go physical. One thing that's really good about her suit is since she has parrying and a shield, the shield can be used to make up for any lost stats that we're missing. Physical resist, 15, go. Now we'll do the bandana, which definitely is physical resist. This one, I can only get it up to 13%, so I am going to sacrifice a little, but maybe the shield, we can get the shield to make up for it. For this bustier, we need to boost the cold resist. And y'all, I don't know if I'm doing this the most efficient way. This is just what I assume that I would want to imbue the least resistant item. So if y'all know a better way, let me know in the comments, because I'm not a pro. So let's do cold on the bustier. Moving on to the Studded Gorget. Let's do physical. So on this one, it looks like it's fire resist. Uh-oh, I hope I have enough gems for whatever fire is, we'll see. Looks like I need eight rubies. I've got them. Okay, so I think we're done with resistances for now. If there's room, I don't think there'll be room though. So now we want to go lower mana cost on all six of these items. So let's do LMC, lower mana cost, as high as we can get it without using special ingredients. Each one's going to take eight tourmaline and four relic fragments. Okay, so now we can put stamina increase on each item. Stats. Stamina increase as much as we can without needing the fungi. How about mana increase? I'm failing now. I get auto target the last and boot item. Okay, so they changed it. That's fine. So we'll do everything on each item individually. Mana increase. Think and boo last property. So you have a 41.8%. 45.6% chance to succeed. Okay. 
So now for the last and final of this piece, I can't decide whether I want to do hit point regeneration or mana regeneration or like half and half, like three hit point and three mana. I think I might go with the late the latter if I have enough gems. Let's go with hit point regeneration. We can only do one point without a seed of renewal. Repeat the last imbuing attempt. Work. So now this one is fully complete. I wonder if I could add poison resist to that. I think it's full though. Like if I wanted to add poison resistance, yep, you cannot imbue this item with any more item properties. So this piece is done. So it's got stamina increase, man increase, hit point regeneration, lower mana cost. And then we um, bumped that physical resist on it. So now let's finish up the gloves. So we need stamina increase. Now we need mana increase. Okay, it failed. re last. I didn't count on failures when I counted my uh, crafting materials, so I might run out. And now we just need... Um, I guess on this top row we'll do mana regeneration. On the bottom row, hit point regeneration. So let's try that. Imbu stats, mana regen. If I have enough sapphires, I might not. Okay, so the gloves are done. Now the bandana. It's got LMC, so now we need stamina increase and mana increase. Ooh, fell in a lot on this bandana. Got it. But at what cost? Mana increase. 17% success chance. I wonder why it's so much less than it would be on leather. Maybe it's harder to imbue cloth. Maybe I'll get lucky. Here we go. We're going to burn everything. Burn through all our resources. Oh no. Yep, I've burned through my resources. So what do I need to give a mana increase on this? Sapphire. Um, and enchanted essences. Oh dear. We're out of enchanted essences from all the failures. Okay. Well, our armor is halfway done. Kind of. So now, let's just go level up Fox some more. And while we're doing that, we'll get more magical items for her to unravel for the enchanted essences. Or, hang on, you know what? Let's do a vendor search. Is anybody selling enchanted essences? Seems like that could be a very profitable... We don't want flower dress. Anybody selling enchanted essences? There they were. Um, for 50 of them, for 3,800. I feel like it would just be better to get my own right now because I'm, I'm not a rich person. I'm still kind of a noob. So, Ezereth, my love, you can just wait here by this chest that Trillium will fill up for you. Okay, let's see where Fox is with his training and let's go somewhere interesting. We're at 78%. We need some fat magical loot, Fox. So let's just go to a dungeon. And for anyone who's wondering how I just come over here and type and go places, these crystals are vet rewards. And one month is like one year on this server. So every month you'll get a vet reward. I think it's every month I have a lot of vet rewards. Have I really played that long? And double click it and it tells you what they do. Like this will take you to any dungeon. You just have to say dungeon. And then it has the list of all the dungeons you can go to. And then with the crystal portal, it's towns, it's banks and moon gates. What dungeon should we try? I don't know. 
That's a good place to level him. I'm thinking shame in the lower levels again. I was doing pretty good down there. I wonder, has she unlocked Stiggy and Abyss? Nope. You must be on a sacred quest to pass through. Well, that might be a good thing to train him up on. Let's just go do that. Brit and Mint. We'll go do the sacred quest.